Welcome back to this uh, series where we're learning how to program. If you haven't seen the first video yet, because I posted that at a bit of a weird time of day, I definitely recommend you go check that out now. Um, just getting you set up in a development environment. Today I want to show you an alternative development environment if you're not on Mac. Uh, it'll work on any platform, including your phone, including a tablet, because it's in a web browser, which is really cool. Uh, you won't be able to do some of the things that you can do uh, if you install it on your computer, but for all intents and purposes uh, in this tutorial, you should be able to do everything. And in future videos, I don't think we're really going to get into anything that you can't do in the browser. So I'm going to show you that, and then we're going to talk about variables, and it's going to be a great time. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, there's some really good feedback left about the other one, and I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. Okay, so the, the very first thing that I want to do in this tutorial, I don't want to jump into the code right away. I actually want to show you a way that you can follow along with this on Windows, on Mac, on a Chromebook, on your phone, on whatever. Uh, it's just through the browser. So if we go to Safari, if we go to repl.it in our browser, um, and then we're going to be presented with this page. We're going to write Python 3, and it's going to give us this nice little interactive box where we can do like print hello world, run it, and it'll print out hello world. And you can basically do whatever we're going to be doing in these tutorials um, in this in this browser, which is super useful. Um, I won't be using it because it's a lot easier for me to record from Sublime Text and it looks a lot better, but this is something that you can use to follow along. So hopefully that's useful to some of you who weren't able to get that working. Now into Sublime Text. Today we're going to be talking about variables, okay? And in Python there are, I like to think of it as there are four main types of variables. So you're probably familiar with variables from, from math at some point. You're probably used to saying like x is equal to some value, right? Some number, right? And it turns out in, in Python, we can do the same thing. And in programming, we can do the same thing. So uh, the difference is that when you say x equals to a number in math, right? It could be like 123, could be like 12.4, could be whatever, right? In Python, we can have those numbers, but we can also represent a lot more, right? So like we can represent like a word like John, we can represent like a, a true or false, like true, right? And so there's a lot that you can handle with Python that you might not be able to handle with math. And so I just want to break down the four basic variable types. So the first one is one that we saw yesterday when we did the, the print hello world, which is called a string. And so a string is just a, um, well, they call it a string because it's a string of characters together, right? And it's, they're surrounded in quotes. Um, that's how you tell your computer when the, when the string of characters starts and when it ends. Uh, so we use these double quotes and then whatever characters we put in between could be just nonsense, could also be real words like hello world, kind of punctuation, whatever. That is a string. Okay. We also, like I said, we have numbers. So, uh, one type of a number is called an integer and that is like the read the numbers without decimal spots. So that's like negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, etc. right? Could be anything but no decimals. And then uh, adding on to that, we have a float and that's with decimals. So 2.32, you know, 1.11, whatever. Finally, we have what's called a Boolean value. And this is what I was talking about when it was true uh, or false and nothing else. And so you could use this to represent uh, a value like, like, do you have a membership, right? Uh, have you paid, right? True or false, right? And so uh, you can see how these, these could be really valuable. And obviously there are more complex uh, structures. We're gonna be making our own uh, types of variables in the future. Um, but this is, this is just a, a really good place to start. These are the basic types in Python. So let's look at that writing a program using them. So, we're gonna make a new file. We're gonna save it as uh, variables.py to our desktop. And we're gonna start off by writing literally what we wrote before, which is print hello world. Uh, and here's a little shortcut in Sublime Text. If you press Command B, you can run uh, your Python program inside the editor, which is super useful. So when we say print hello world, uh, we see hello world prints out like we expect. 
let's try doing it with a variable. So like I said, just like in math, you do your variable name equals the value. So in our case, the variable name is going to be equal to message, right? And the value will be equal to hello world. And you notice I put quotations around the hello world, and that's to signify to the computer that it is a screen, <laughs> that it is a string, not a screen. <laughs> uh, now we can say print message, and you'll notice that um, Sublime Text, when you start to write it, it'll auto-complete it for you. You can hit enter and it'll put it in. Super useful. Use it all the time. Uh, now when we save it and we run it, it still prints out hello world. And now when we change it up here, we say hello John, we run it, it, it says hello John. So it's getting the value from up here and substituting it into the print statement, which is awesome. So uh, let's, let's see what happens when we make our message a number, for example, like four. It, it still works. Uh, we could make it like a, a math statement. So we could do like four times four. 16 right this is all things that we saw yesterday but i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the power of variables hopefully now so let's make a new file we're gonna save this as line.py now if you've taken grade 9 math if you've done uh, basic algebra um, then you know the equation for a line right is y equals mx plus b right where m is the slope of the line x is the x value and b is the y intercept. So uh, when we put mx like this in math, it's a, it's a short form obviously for m times x. So in our case, we have to do m times x plus b. And now we need to uh, define some, some values for those variables. So um, we can just choose arbitrary values. So we could say m is equal to one, x is equal to, I don't know, two, and b is equal to five, right? And so these are just three potential values that, that could be true for a certain line, right? Uh, this line b y equals x plus five. And um, then we're gonna get a y value for that, right? And then we can print y, right? And so uh, running this, we're gonna expect to see the value seven come out um, because when you do one times two plus five, you get seven, right? And then we could change any number of these variables. So let's say our, our m value, our slope was actually five, and we could do 15. Um, there's a lot more that you could do, right? So uh, for example, we could actually calculate the slope, right? So um, let's say we want to calculate the slope of a line. Okay, well, uh, to calculate the slope of a line, we need, um, we need two points basically right we need two x y points so we can do x1 uh, x2 i'm just using underscores there for spaces because uh, the variable needs to have um, if you're using multiple words typically in python you use underscores to to separate those words and then we're going to have y1 and y2 so x1 is going to be equal to one x2 is going to be equal to i don't know let's say like four y1 can be equal to 5, and y2 uh, will be equal to, oh, I don't know, like 20? Sure. Okay, and then um, we know that our, our slope, m, is equal to rise over run, uh, which is going to be equal to the change in y over the change in x, right? So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And you can see that you use brackets to indicate bed mass just like you would in any uh, math, really. So we're gonna we're gonna print out m and we get five, which is which is the right answer. Um, which is awesome, right? So so now we have a program that if given two sets of points, we can get um, Sorry, if given two points of data, we can get the slope of the line in between them. And then from there, it's, it's pretty trivial to uh, get the y-intercept value and then to print out the equation of the line, right? So I'm not going to derive that here. It's super easy, though. Um, it's a fun challenge for you to do to modify your program uh, to, make it, to make it print out the equation of a line, right? Um, here's a fun fact. If you want, you can actually do uh, what's called concatenation. Um, and that's kind of a fancy sounding word, but really it just means to, to add uh, two things together um, of, of a type that is string. Okay, so it's, 
if you have two strings, so if you have two strings of characters, um, so let's say the one maybe is, uh, let's go back into variables. So let's say our string one is gonna be equal to hello, and our string two is gonna be equal to world. Then we can uh, print out string one plus string two, and it says hello world, it just adds them together. And so what this is useful for is, uh, let's say that we want to print out uh, like the equation or the, the slope of the line is, and then print it out. So we could do the slope of the line is, uh, and then if we run this, it's actually, it, it should throw an error. Um, and good, it does. So it says type error cannot concatenate str and int objects. So that's string and integer objects, right? So what we actually have to do is we have to convert our integer to a string, which you can do uh, pretty simply, right? Because it's basically just putting quotes around it. So we can do str, uh, which basically is just Python short form for turn it into a string. And we run it and we see the slope of the line is five. And so you can start to see how, how variables are pretty much the most uh, useful thing ever. Uh, they're super great in, in programming, and uh, they will be something that you use in every program, so it, it makes sense to master it. So I would say as a, as a fun little challenge for this video, see whether you can have a write a program that um, prints out the equation of a line given two points. So this is a good starting point. This gets you the slope, and then you're going to have to um, figure out how to find the y-intercept, and then print out the equation of the line is y equals mx plus b, where m and b are replaced by your slope and your y-intercept values. So this video has covered variables. In the next video, we're going to cover uh, comparisons. We're going to cover things like if statements. Um, and then in the video after that, we're going to get into loops. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, definitely recommend that you try and extend your program, like I said.